It's Joe Ricards here, shooting from Sumy, Ukraine today. Let me ask you, have you seen all these gorgeous Ukrainian Russian women online? You know, these marriage agency dating websites, the mail order bride websites as we know them as, and thought, you know what, this is just one big scam from beginning to end. Or have you thought, or have you wondered, maybe, I wonder if there are actually some beautiful, younger Ukrainian-Russian women that are just lonely, looking for a good man to settle down with and have a family, because that's so huge for them here. Well, if you've wondered what is the truth on this very big question, then let me show you what I uncovered. Because I wondered this very same question when I came to the Ukraine. I was so suspicious. And so what I did is I thought, how can I truly uncover the truth on this very important question to us Western guys looking for love in Ukraine or Russia. So what I did was I went on a quest to find honest Ukrainian ladies to interview and ask them what is the truth on this subject and other subjects as well. So that's what you're going to see in this video series here today as you're going to see and hear from honest Ukrainian ladies about this topic. These uh, ladies are some are married, some are single with kids, single without children, all of them I know. Um, most of them have never been with a marriage agency and all of them are completely open and honest on camera. So I promise you, you're going to be shocked by what you hear in this video series. It's not what you think in most cases. Um, so I hope you enjoy. I hope you get a big education out of this and um, enjoy. Hi, Genia. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> Listen, I want to thank you so much for agreeing to talk to me today about this tough subject of um, the mail order bride business and be open and honest with me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here. Thanks again. Um, okay, first question I think I would ask you is this business, this marriage agency business in Ukraine, the mail order bride business as it's unfortunately called, what's your opinion of it? You think it's good business, bad business? What's your opinion? I think it's bad business because it um, contains uh, a lot of lie um, and also, um, people want to make money and um, I didn't know about a lot of great results of this business. I know ab about um, broken hearts mm -hmm. and that people um, were not um, truly with... Uh, with each other, they weren't people. honest yeah, with each other? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, mm, what do you think is the root of the problem, the cause of the problem? Is it the, is it the, the lady? Is it the you know, bad lady, bad Western man? Mm -hmm. Or what do you think is the root cause uh, of I think um, men and women, um, often they um, don't have good motives to use this business uh -huh. to build their life. Uh, and also um, this agency want to make money so they are not interested to help people to build good mm -hmm. marriage. They're so just after the money. You think? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, on that note, we were talking off camera, you, you have some personal stories of uh, friends that applied to be a uh, translator and stuff. Can you share that with me? Yeah, I yeah. have a few friends. They wanted to be translators for these uh, agencies. And, um, in Sumi here? Yeah, in Sumi. Mm -hmm. And um, my friends didn't like to uh, work with agency because um, um, agency wanted that uh, my friends will uh, lie about, for example, women, her story, her characteristic, and um, also... Um, Can I just clarify with that? Yeah. So you mean when she was applying to be a, a client, she was coming to mm -hmm. an agency and she puts down her personal profile, mm -hmm. they yeah. tell her, okay, write this and this, and they change it. Is that um, what you mean? Uh, yes. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure you understood mm -hmm. that. Okay. And also, um, my friends uh, needed to translate um, very um, intim, um, qu answers, intimate, qu intimate, intimate yeah. uh, questions and answers uh -huh. for people who <laughs> wanted to know something very deep. Uh -huh. So like, can I just be straight up, like sexual content? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and so my friends... Uh, felt uh, like ugly and they didn't want to do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And uh, did your friends tell you, uh, talk about the fact that um, they would be translating for many different women, many different profiles, like many different beautiful women, and mm. talking, not just talking about themselves, they would be translating uh, 
uh, and pretending there are many other women? Um, no, I don't know if it uh, were a lot of women or one. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't okay. know. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Uh, what about, um, let me ask you, so you think this um, agency business is mostly mostly bad, you say? Mostly bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, have you heard any... Uh, have you had heard any good stories about marriage agencies? I heard good stories when agency um, was um, truly... An honest agency? Honestly, on, yeah, honest agency. Okay, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and so you, you've heard a story of an honest yeah, agency? Yeah, about marriage. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you think there are some? Yeah, there are some. How, how many do you think? Like, I know you're just kind of guessing, but like... Choo-choo, a little bit or a lot of good agencies? What do you I think, think a little bit. A little, a few. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Diamonds in the rough, as we say. Okay.